One of the best ways to market your art is to run a sale. So in this video, I'm going to share three different types of sales that work really well for me and that my customers love. The first sale is a double dip discount. And this means that you already have a portion of your items on sale on your website. Usually I do this double dip discount on my art prints. I have everything on sale for 10% off, but then with the special double dip coupon code, my customers can then take an additional 10 or 15% off. I usually change the sale up a little bit depending on the time of year. One of the best times to run this sale for me is always on Black Friday. If I do the 10% off and then 15% additional off, which gives them a total of 25% off. It gets me lots and lots of sales and it's the very best time of year to run this type of promotion. The next type of sale I'd like to discuss is a free print weekend. And the idea is you have all of your work marked at regular prices on your website, but that you give away a certain print for free if anyone purchases a print. And this works really well for me any time of the year that I do it. But one thing I've learned about this that makes it work better is if you pick a print to give away for free that is uh, has a wide variety of people who are interested in it. So what I usually do is pick something like a landscape uh, because everybody really likes landscapes and they, in my particular rainbow landscapes they match my rainbow animals and they also match my surrealism paintings and so those are my most popular prints those different types there and so something like this would be something that I would give away for free it would be an 8x10 print if they buy another 8x10 or larger print over a weekend on my website I always have a time limit on it I don't do it for like a week or two because you know need to make urgency in your sales so that way people will actually purchase right away. So if you have it running for too long, people are just going to kind of wait around. Oh, I can do it later. I can do it later. So, so you need to like either set a time limit or say, Hey, I'm going to give away 10 of these total. So the first 10 people to purchase on my website will get one that also creates urgency. One year I tried a combination of these on like a black Friday and then cyber Monday, and it worked out like gangbusters. And so I would suggest this combination. So like doing the double dip discount for black Friday and through that weekend, but then on cyber Monday for that one day doing a free, print giveaway. And what I learned is I had people taking advantage of the double dip discount on Black Friday or, you know, on Small Business Saturday the next day. And then I had the same customers, repeat buyers doing the free print promo on the Cyber Monday. So I was getting like two sales from a lot of customers. So it worked out really, really well. If you can get repeat buyers, it's it's awesome, right? Because you already have those customers. And so the more times you can get a person to become a repeat buyer, the better. The last type of sale I'd like to discuss are ultra cheap misprints. Now I always have a lot of these. I make lots of different work and I make prints of it. And sometimes the prints don't turn out just right. Like sometimes my printer is not working the best or you know, like there might be ink spots, splotches on there in a few places or maybe a slight amount of banding. And you can't see some of it very well probably in the video, but, or the colors aren't matched up just perfect, but they still look pretty nice. You know, like they're too good to throw away. Somebody would enjoy having these, but they're not 100% perfect. And because of that, I can't sell them at regular prices. Otherwise I'll have you know unhappy customers if they get something with an ink splotch on it, right? And I know if you are making Making your own art prints you have stuff like this laying around too now back in the day before I had this idea I kind of just you know had a stack of them and maybe I'd give them out to friends sometimes I just throw them away and so this is a way that you can monetize things that you would just like either throw away or stick in your recycling bin it's really awesome so what I do is I do like a deal like I might give like three of these for $15 or you know four for 20 or something like that like a bundle of them and instead of listing every single one on my website which would take forever. I just, I have lots of different categories of prints. Like I have cat prints and dog prints and all the different types of animal prints. And so what I do is I let people decide whether they want like a dog print set or a cat print set or like an other animal set or maybe a set of surrealism landscapes or people prints, things like that. And so they can choose the category. And then I pick the prints that go in the bundle for them and send them out. Usually I have, a bundle price for in the US people and outside the US people because you know shipping costs are different and I usually try to 
bundle it to where it's really affordable and the shipping is included because that way people if it's got if it's affordable but then it's got this like high shipping price nobody wants that <laughs> and so i just bundle all the costs together so it'll be free shipping whether you're in the u.s or outside the u.s just different prices for the print bundles and what i found is is if i can keep the price under 30 dollars for the print bundle and the shipping it sells a lot. Usually I will sell out um, over a weekend. Sometimes I run the promotion and just until I sell out. So I'll say I'll keep it open for up to a week, uh, but I've never had them last that long. <laughs> Usually I sell out right away. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how to properly execute a sale while advertising it on social media for free. So please watch out for that video. It'll be coming up. If you have any questions, please post them below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right, see you next time.